fear. I mean, if, if something happened there, it is it is for them to worry about. Number of gangland people, number of people with organized crime links from Punjab have been made welcome in Canada. If there are things which happen out there, there will be pushback. You know, the Newton's law of politics will apply there also. This number of gangland people, number of people with organized crime links from Punjab have been made welcome in Canada. We have been telling Canada, saying, look, these are wanted criminals from India. You have given them visas. You let, they have come, many of them, in false documentation. And yet you allow them to live there. If you decide to import for political purposes people with very dubious, actually very negative background, there will be issues. You know, they have, in some cases, created problems in their own country as a result of their own policies. No, why would we fear? I mean, if, if something happened there, it is, it is for them to worry about. Our biggest problem right now is in Canada. Because in Canada, actually, the, today the, uh, the party in power in Canada, other parties in Canada, have given these kinds of extremism, separatism, advocates of violence, a certain legitimacy in the name of free speech. See, when you tell them something, their answer is, no, 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 we are a democracy, but it is free speech. But the point that they need to understand, this kind of, you know, it's no longer a world which runs as a one-way street. That if there are things which happen out there, there will be pushback. You know, the Newton's law of politics will apply there also. You know, that there will be a reaction. Others will... Uh, you know, uh, take steps or counter it, these kinds of uh, attacks or threats to our embassies, because they concern me very deeply. And I tell the foreign minister, saying, suppose it happened to you, if it was your diplomat, your embassy, your flag, how would you react? So we have to keep our position strong.